to another loss. And the late Garissa Senator Yusuf Haji, who passed on this morning, has been described as a father figure and a politician whose wisdom could be relied on at all times. Our NTV's senior political affairs reporter, Kennedy Murethi, is at the home of the late senator where family and friends have been streaming in throughout the morning. Kennedy is now joining us. It's been a somber morning, Kennedy. What's happening at the home now and what's expected later this afternoon? mood here at the home of the late Senator Fogarisa and also somebody whom you've aptly said has been described as a father figure and also not just as a father figure but also as a disciplinarian and somebody who stood for what was right. Others have said that he is a stickler for law and what is happening here right now is that there are preparations to remove his body from his home and straight into South Sea where there will be prayers before the burial at 4.30 at the Langata Cemetery. And actually one of the family members has actually come out in the last 10 minutes and asked all of us who are here to start leaving as we head into South Sea where there will be prayers as they also expect President Uhuru Kenyatta who will be coming all the way straight from Kisi and straight into the Langata Cemetery where the burial will be at around 4.30. We've already seen the house that brought his body earlier on from the Aga Khan University Hospital and in the last three minutes it has moved from where it was and it has come closer to the door and we do expect probably in the last in the next few minutes the body will be ushered out of the house put into the morgue and all of them will be going we also saw the director of public prosecutions that is Nordin Haji who is his son come in a few minutes ago he had been here since morning receiving dignitaries who are here and the moment he came in he went took a shower probably we, we think that he doesn't stay away, very far away from here then he's just come in as they now prepare as the family to go into the mosque in south sea we've also seen the representative of the president who has been here uh, for several cabinet secretaries but the one who's been here since morning is ukuri atani the minister for finance and his the one who's been communicating information on behalf of government and he actually said he's the one who told us that they'll be expecting president uhuru kenyatta will be there at the burial site he's probably not going to be at south sea where the final prayers will be but he will be there for the final rites another thing that we've also been able to note is that there are senators members of the county members of parliament and also Senators were also members of parliament and also the family representative who have been able to tell us that the family this morning agreed that they will be burying him in Nairobi but there will be ceremonies for the next three days in different parts of the country as they try to celebrate the life and times of Senator Haji who has left the stage at the age of 80. We are keeping tabs on what is happening but we will be giving you information up and when we do get it but for now, right now the body is being removed from the house taken straight for prayers and later for burial at 4.30 at the Langata Cemetery. Right now, we want to head straight there, but back to your studio.